Okie dokie, already tokies. It is Wednesday, I believe, August 10th. Yesterday, I went to two Goodwills. I went to the one on Hillcroft. And then I went to a different one that I have never been to before. It is one in the most expensive neighborhood in Houston, which is River Oaks. And I thought, okay, you know, rich people, let's see what they donate and uh, are the prices going to be different? So, first at Hillcroft, uh, I'll show you what I found, and uh, these are my receipts. This is, they say Meyerland, uh, but as you can see, it's, it's Meyerland is a neighborhood, but it's on Hillcroft. So what we got there was I purchased this ashtray for $3.99. I actually like it better than mine because it holds your cigarettes better. Um, so I might keep this one myself. I'm not sure yet. Um, and then I did get this child's golf bag. Now, it was $5.99, but it sells for between um, $25 and $35. So, not really a, a bad deal. And it has got a boatload of uh, balls in it, golf balls, uh, which I'll probably just put them all together and sell it as a lot. And like I said, that was $5.99. Now, I got this collection. It is the Little Mermaid treasure chest collection um all kinds of different books it comes with 24 well i found 19 of them um i didn't know if there was like a particular order or whatever so what was cute is inside now this one is written this is the bad one uh but this one is written in but it says this treasure belongs to and i don't know if you can see the pencil but it was a little boy by the name of toby and what he did is he would write down what number book it was. Thank you, Toby. And then he put little check marks. I guess he read it a few times. So um, in the book, every one of them in pencil said Toby and then what number it was. Now, like I said, this is the only one that's messed up. Somebody wrote that in marker. I guess it was the person that was giving it to him. But this page tour, they did tape it. Um, I had to go through all 19 books remove the sticker, the price stickers, and erase Toby's name, go through every book and make sure the pages were good. Oh, that was a lot of work. So, <coughs> there were 19. Now, why she rung them up separately, I don't know. Actually, seven of them had a red tag, which I thought was supposed to be half off, but she didn't give me half off. It's like she was going to and then didn't. But anyway, uh, there were 19 books at 79 cents each. I spent $24.94 uh, with tax. It was $27.05. Now, let me tell you a story about this Hillcroft store. So, remember last week, uh, the whole reason I went back was because, you know, they had that Laura Ashley perfume, Laura Ashley number one. They had four bottles priced at $19.99 each. Well, I bought one because I wanted to see how it did. It was priced like Somebody paid a hundred and something for one of them on eBay, which I find crazy, but the prices were all over the place. So I put it on auction. I got an offer for 85, but like an idiot, I had it, uh, uh, reserved at 125. I wish I wouldn't have done that. But anyway, so, uh, it didn't sell. So what I did is I just listed it for 87 and a couple days later it sold. So I was telling Elias, I'm going back to that Hillcroft store and see if they've got the rest of them and I'm going to buy them all. Well, they were gone when I got there. Uh, so you just saw what I purchased from that store. Well, I get up to the cash register and the lady's ringing me up and everything. And she says, do you remember me? I waited on you last week. And I said, yeah, I said, you were very helpful. You helped carry my bag because it was so heavy. Because if y'all remember, we spent $40 on that Onkyo uh, receiver thing. That was $39.99. The perfume was $20. Anyway, I kept looking for my receipt and I couldn't find it anywhere. Well, anyway, she says to me, yeah, it was like $84.87. And I told her, I said, yeah, I can't find my receipt. And she said, you didn't sign for your purchase. She said, and I was so busy trying to help you get the bag out that I didn't notice. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't pay for any of that stuff, y'all. $85 and it was all free. So I said, oh my God, did you get in trouble? She said, no, they just wrote it off. And I said, well, do you want me to pay for it? Is there something I could do? She said, no. So we got $85 worth of product and it was free. And even if we would have paid the 85, the perfume, just selling the perfume 
would have paid for everything. Well, anyway, I, you know, I felt like a piece of shit. I apologize. Just, I just kept apologizing. It was, you know, when you're in a wheelchair and they've got the thing there that, you know, you put your credit card in, well, it lays flat. So you can't really see it. Um, you have to like prop it up. Well, I, I guess I was, you know, Metro Lift was there and we were trying to get my stuff out the door. Everything was heavy. I mean, look what I did to my leg that, uh, stereo receiver just I mean it ripped my skin off and I was bleeding everywhere in the store it was horrible uh but anyway that's that story so then I headed over like I said to the one on River Oaks it was really crowded I was surprised how crowded it was um when I went in there were a lot of men with their phones out a lot of people with their phones out so we all know what that means they were all resellers so they had this um hold on they always have a separate case at uh, the Goodwills where the higher dollar stuff is supposed to be. Well, there was a, a, a gentleman over there uh, looking at something. The, there's a lady back there, and she hands it to you. You look at it. She watches you like a hawk. Well, I saw this. It's just uh, the crab tea and, and uh, crab tree and Evelyn assorted uh, hand creams, and uh, it was three dollars and ninety nine cents, and it sells for between twenty and twenty five. So anyway, I saw it there, and I said to the lady, "I said, can I see uh, something in the case?" Or do you want me to wait until he's done? Well, she got all snotty and said, you need to wait your turn. It's one person at a time. And I said, excuse me, you don't need to be rude. That's why I asked you. And then, of course, her attitude changed. But it's like, bitch, don't. No, no. I asked you a simple motherfucking question. Okay. And I was polite. So anyway, uh, moving on. People are rude. I don't know if she had a learning disability because, I mean, and I'm not being mean, but it was just the way that she was speaking and everything because she spoke to everyone like that. And a gentleman came up after me and he was trying to get her attention and I told him what she told me. But of course, I was friendlier about it. I just said, she's not going to help you till she's done. I guess they can't. And so he walked off. But anyway, so what did we find? Well, we found the crab tree in Evelyn. I found this James Patterson book for my mom. It was only 99 cents. Um, and like I said, you can, you can, uh, see my, um, receipt right there. But anyway, see, I said, I'm keeping these two books cause I got this book for 99 cents. And then I got this, I, I've got something heavy on top, but it's a Vitamix cookbook, pretty nice size. And, uh, it was also 99 cents. So the lady that bought the Vitamix was so friggin' sweet. She bought that for her son for his birthday, which is August 24th. So when I saw this for 99 cents, I'm going to tell her about it. But I think I just want to send it to her just as a gift. Because she was so exceptionally sweet. And I can tell she's a good mother because she's spending money on her son. And she didn't think twice about it. She was so excited. So, um, I, I can tell she's a good mother. Um, but anyway, and then I, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. Look, y'all see this? They're dumbbells, smart bells, whatever you want to call them. They're hand weights. Uh, 3.3 pounds each. So, this is from 1983. Look, it has the original price tag from Oshman's. It looks like they're $10.95 and then they went on sale for $8.97. This is back in 1983. So I've seen some, they do need cleaning. The box is kind of, you know, rickety. But um, for Pete's sake, y'all, really? 1983, still in the box? That's just crazy. Isn't that crazy? It even has the instruction booklet. Get out. I know. So now, uh, what else did we get? Okay, so the last thing I got and I'm thinking about keeping it as well because I don't have this. But they had a lot of expensive clothes because, hello, it's River Oaks. A lot of um, popular names. But all the dresses were about $14.99. And uh, the sale prices weren't very comparable. So, anyway, I found this pretty black dress. It's called, uh, it's Torn by Ronnie Cobo. Let's see if you can see that up here and it's a size large i kept looking for the tag and then i remember rich people they put the tags down there so oh oh i'm just doing a bad job but anyway i think it's dry clean only it's 
made in China. It's a size large. I don't even know what viscose is. What the hell is that? Anyway, can y'all see the pattern on this? Like, it is really pretty. It's kind of heavy, so I would assume it's probably more of a winter dress and you could just put a shawl or something really put a wrap around it. Um, you just slip it on over your head. There's no zippers or anything, but I just find it's a lovely dress. I like this V right here because that's going to go right underneath your breast area and really make you look good. So, um, like I said, that was $14.99 and I bought it. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. We'll list it, see how it does, because I don't have a little black dress. And, you know, stuff happens. So, anyway, now I'm going to tell you a story. Um, what was the story I was going to tell you? Oh, my God. Okay, so I... Okay, I was on Amazon Marketplace, and I found the... These people were for uh, $39.99 free shipping or selling... Amazon undeliverable packages, which means they were new. It was supposed to be a box, a box, a large box of items with a $90 value. So I'm like, okay, let's give it a go. So I went ahead and I bought it. And when it came, I was expecting a large box, right? Because that's what I ordered. I got a very small box that fit in my hands. And it was an unbranded smartwatch that's worth about anywhere from seven dollars and fifty freaking cents to maybe 20 if you're lucky uh i spent 39.99 so i contacted them several times and let them know how disappointed i was and that they were misleading they had a picture of franchise kicks on their site um and i told them is he aware they were using his image so i did email him and he said yeah it happens a lot don't buy anything from china i said i didn't it was california so anyway you know these resellers get good shit and i don't know where they're getting it i don't know where they're sourcing and of course they're not going to tell us because then everybody's going to buy it so anyway i was you know i'm just like fuck it i just threw my hands up in the air that was a loss okay there is a reseller by the name of Lindy, not Lindsay, Lindy, without the S, uh, Glenn. Uh, she sells a lot. So she goes through a company called Wholesale Ninjas. And she's always talking about how the products are new, they're shipped well, you get your money's worth, yada, 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 you make a profit. And I've been watching her for a long time, and I was like, okay, Lindy. She also had a coupon code for $25 off. So I'm like, okay, Lindy, I'm going to give this a try. So, about a week and a half ago, I ordered a 100-piece health and beauty box, and it's supposed to be here tomorrow. So, I thought for fun, since we didn't have a box to unbox from the other place, I thought it would be fun if we unbox it together, and it's supposed to come tomorrow. So, keep our fingers crossed. Uh... Let's hope that uh, I've watched other videos, too, on other people getting the same type of box, and it looks good. But, you know, it, it, so what? it was $240 for 100 pieces that was with shipping. Shipping is a flat rate of $30. Doesn't matter how much you buy. It's $30, which I love that. So Lindy's coupon practically paid for uh, my shipping. So we're going to see. Now, another thing that I've been doing is I have a china cabinet in the uh, dining room that has a lot of stuff in it that my mother has given me throughout the years that I'm never going to use because it's, you know, very fancy stuff. So I've been listing that. And when me and my first husband got married, like in 19, what, 88? She gave me a really pretty crystal uh, glass pitcher with six glass. I mean, it's it's got wine glasses. It has water goblets. It's got the pitcher itself. It's beautiful. Um, cleaned it up, listed it. And I also cleaned the china cabinet, and it looks utterly fantastic. So I'm just kind of looking through the china cabinet, and I saw these paperweights that I totally forgot I had. Uh, they're from Pure Well, this one is from Pure One. It still has a bit of the sticker uh, on the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you can tell it says Pure One Imports. It was probably $54, $64 if you can tell right there. Okay. Now, this one is unbranded. Uh, I tried to look that up, but I, I couldn't find anything on it. So, anyway, 
I went ahead and cleaned them up and I listed them. I put this one at 22 because uh, it is vintage. And I put uh, this one, I think, at like, I don't know, someone else was selling one exactly like it. So it made uh, the listing really easy. All I had to do is pretty much take photos and update a little bit of the information. So I'm selling those. Uh, I haven't listed this yet, but I found this pretty little bell. Didn't even know I had. Pretty little crystal bell. I don't know who makes it. Oh, is that dirt in there? I think that's dirt in there. Yeah, we need to clean that. That's fine. I've got my uh, glass cleaner and my awesome, which is somewhere. Uh, this awesome stuff is, uh, it's awesome. It really is. There's no lie about it. You get it at the uh, Dollar Tree. It's a dollar. And the refill is even bigger than this. Uh, you can just pour it into that, and it's a dollar. I meant to get some more last time I was there last week, but I did not. So, in the china cabinet, there are some drawers. I uh, just kind of wanted to see what was in there, because it had been a long time. And I found these dolls. I found that one. And, let me, let me sit her down. I found this one. Now, I'm in the... Oh, she fell, but there she is. So, I'm like, man, I can't find any markings. Let's look underneath her underwear. That's always where they put stuff. So, I pulled down her drawers. Yes, I did. I pulled down her drawers and up her dress. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's from Mattel between 1958 and 1962. And she even is numbered. So, she has her stockings still. Isn't that amazing? But, of course, she has no shoes. Not going to worry about it. Now, this one I haven't even looked at yet. Uh, oh, look, it does say Barbie. Oh, my God. By Mattel. That's fantastic. I need to look at her dress and see if she's got something on there. But, let's see. She is... Yeah, we'd have to take, we're going to have to take her dress off to look, but it already says Barbie. But anyway, she got a little cute. I guess she's supposed to have little hooks that keep her stockings on, but I'm just grateful. I don't know what the hell that's in her. We need to get that out. I don't know what that is. I hope something didn't chub. But anyway, we are going to look these dolls up and see if they're worth anything, and I'll get back with you. Uh, like I said, we're just going to do a little cleaning up and everything. Now, um, I have these plates. I don't know if they're worth anything. Uh, they need to be cleaned. They just look like little bread plates, I guess. But this says 1763. It's pottery that was uh, Royal Staffordshire. Pottery from England. Cloison. Cloison? 1763. So, these need to be washed, and uh, I do need to go through and make sure none of them are chipped. And uh, we'll do them as replacements. You know what? Well, maybe we'll just sell them as a whole lot. I mean, they've been sitting in the China cabinet for so many years. Now, uh, gosh, I guess it was about 15 years ago, I went to an estate sale in Southwest Houston. And I found a whole set of Wedgwood China. The pattern is called Patrician can't forget that because my sister's name is Patricia. So what I'm going to do is clean those up as well. Uh, it's like an eight piece set. Some of them, there's a couple that are scratched or chipped, but the rest of them I'm going to clean and sell them as replacement plates. There's saucers and cups and all the dessert plates, the bread plates. It's got it all. So um, it's just sitting in my china cabinet and there's just no point. So I if y'all are interested in any of the stuff that I'm I'm putting on eBay, I'm going to put a link to my uh, store in the description below this video. I really wish y'all would just go take a look. The, you know, uh, Christmas is going to be coming. I've got a lot of great stuff on there. I'm willing to work with people. If you send me an offer that is not insulting like the two I got this morning, people want things for half price. And what they don't realize is, hello, I'm paying for these as well. I need to make some kind of profit. But, uh, you know, that linked animal, the sloth, I have him listed at 21 which is a good price. I paid 10 And uh, the lady came at me, I think, at like 16. I'm like, is she high? No, 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 no. 
no, 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 no. So I came back at 18. Of course, she didn't reply. Uh, the Mr. Rogers book I have listed for 10. I got an offer for $7.18. I sent a counter offer for eight fifty. dollars I haven't heard from either people. Like I said, everybody wants something for free. And I'm sorry. Yes, I can move inventory. But the thing is, I'm really not willing to make a dollar or two profit. That's not worth my time. And y'all know I have to carry everything in my lap. This stuff is heavy. And I pay for it. So, you know, give me a couple bucks here. Anyway. Uh, I'm excited about the box that's coming, and like I said, we'll do an unboxing together, and it was a pleasure talking to y'all. We are going to craft soon. Um, I got some paper. It's autumn paper, like fall and Thanksgiving, so we're going to do a couple coasters and that, and uh, I'm trying to get to that as soon as possible. So any, anyway, y'all have a great day, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.